Hi, I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue with my series entitled Blue Solos with Comping. In this series we go back and forth from lead to rhythm guitar within the context of a 12 bar blues. First, I'll play blue solo with comping in the key of E number four, and then I'll break it down for you. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, let's break down blues solo with comping in the key of E number 4. We have a 12 bar blues that I divided into three 4 bar phrases. And each 4 bar phrase will go back and forth from lead guitar to rhythm guitar accompaniment, otherwise known as comping. Let's go ahead and look at the scales that we'll be using in this exercise. The first scale is the E blues scale in open position. also be using the top portion of the E major pentatonic in open position. I'm just going to focus on the top three strings here. So we'll be mixing some of that scale in with our E blue scale. Let's go on to phrase one. So in this phrase, we're going to use a pickup. A pickup means that we come in before the first full measure. In this pickup lick, we'll be combining both the major pentatonic and the blue scale to create this lick. I'm starting on the first string and I'm using pull-offs here. So I'm going from the third fret, second fret, open. The same thing on the next string. Same thing on the next string, and I'm ending on the root E. And then I go into my comping pattern. So this accompaniment pattern starts with the low E, and then we use what looks like an A chord, although this is just movement around the E seventh harmony. Then I go to an abbreviated E seventh chord that looks like this. The intervals here are flatted seven, major third, and fifth. And I'm going to trill, so the pattern's like this. Then I'll go back to the same lick, but end it on the high E, and return to the E comping pattern. Let's go on to phrase two. So in phrase two, we use that same lick as a pickup going into our A seventh chord, which is the four in our 12 bar blues. So here's the lick again, pull offs from the third to the second fret and then to open on all three strings. And then we're going to end this time on the note A, since we're on the A 7th chord, so this is our root. Then we'll go up to the 5th fret to play our accompaniment on A7. We'll play the open A string, and then use the same pattern adjusted for A here at the 5th fret. We're going to 
use this triad. Again, this is movement around the A7. This is technically a D triad. And then we have our abbreviated A seventh chord. Again, the intervals are flat at seven, third, and fifth. Then we're going to use a blues scale lick to lead back into the E seventh accompaniment. Here's the last phrase. So in the last phrase, we're going to set the five chord up with the blues scale. So I'm leading into my B, which is the root of my B seventh chord. That's the five. And then I'll go to the four chord, A seventh. And then into an open bending blues lick. And then this next part is a stock turnaround. So what we're going to do is take this shape which is a minor third, for those of you who know your intervals. And we're going to walk this shape down chromatically and include the open high E. So we'll be doing this. And then resolving that to a trill. And then using the blue scale to walk back up to the root of the five chord going to be playing an abbreviated B7 there. So here we have root, third, and then we have the flat at seven. After we go to the five chord, we're going to end on an open E7. That's our one. That's it for blues solo with comping in the key of E number four. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.